In Unit 2.2, we will be focusing on double-digit subtraction strategies. First, we'll go ahead and we'll take a look at using a base 10 model to solve a subtraction problem. So we have 57 subtract 23. So we'll start off with a 10s and 1s chart. I'll go ahead and draw out 57. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Now what I want to do is I want to get rid of two tens. 1, 2. So I've gotten rid of two tens. The next step is to get rid of three ones. 1, 2, 3. Now I take a look at what I have left over. I have three tens, that's 30. And I have four ones, that's four. So the difference between 57 and 23 is 34. In this example, there will be regrouping. So again, I'm using the base 10 model. I'll make a T-chart showing my tens and my ones. I'll go ahead and draw out 54. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. 1, 2, 3, 4. Now what I need to do is I need to look at getting rid of two tens. So right there I went ahead and I got rid of two tens. Now I need to get rid of eight ones. And this is where the trick comes in, a little bit of a problem. I don't have eight ones over here, I only have four ones. So what I need to do is I need to grab this 10, push it over to the one side, and I need to break it apart. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm taking that 10 and I'm breaking it into ones. It's gone now. Now I am able to get rid of eight ones. So I'm going to do that now. There's four, five, six, seven, eight. So this is what I have left over on the one side. So the answer is 26. 54 minus 28 is 26. Now we'll take a look at subtracting on an open number line. There's two ways that students can do this, so I'm going to model both ways. The first way is to start at the number 64 and to jump back three tens and then two ones. So here I am at 64, 10, 20, 30. And I'll write that number. These are all jumps of 10. Then I'll jump back two, one, two. These are jumps of one. I go back to 64, and then I have to remind myself I'll be counting backwards by 10. So 64, 54, 44, 34. I write that down. I stop, and I tell myself, okay, now count backward by 1. 34, 33, 32. So, 64 minus 32 is 32. The other way students can do it is they can jump up on the number line. They can start at 32, and they can jump up until they reach 64. So we'll start at 32, and we'll say 42, 52, 62. They'll stop there because they realize if they go another 10, they'll be at 72, and that's too far. So these are jumping 10s. So this is 42, 52, and 62. Now, if I jump two more ones, I've reached my goal number, which is 64. So now, I've jumped 10, 20, 30, 31, 32, and that's the answer. You've got to count all those jumps to get the answer. 
And again, the answer is 32. Here's another way to solve a subtraction problem on an open number line. So on this one, we're going to start at 36, and we're going to jump up to 61. So I'm going to use friendly tens to get there. So when I think about the number 36, I think to myself, what's the next 10? The next 10 is 40. And I jumped 4 to get there. I'm trying to get to 61. So now I'm at 40. I can jump 20 more. And that places me at 60. If I jump 1 more, I've reached my goal number which is 61. I go back and I just count all of my jumps. So my jumps are 20 and 4, that's 24, and one more is 25. The answer is 25. This way of jumping on a number line is for more advanced students that really have excellent number sense. So I'm gonna go back to this problem down at the bottom it's 73 minus 45. I'm going to complete this problem that same way. So I start at the 45, and my goal is to jump up to 73. So here I go, 45. I'm going to get to the next friendly 10. That's five more because I get to 50. Five more jumps, and I'm at 50. I want to get to 73. A lot of students will just say, well, 23 more, and you're there. 23 more and they can label it just like that so now I count up 5 and 23 is 28 28 is the answer again this way of solving it on a number line is really for the most advanced students that really have excellent number sense the last strategy we can take a look at is using expanded form so I'm going to show you expanded form with 57 minus 36 I go ahead and I make my t-chart with my tens and my ones. I write 50 and 7 and 30 and 6. I draw a line underneath and I remind myself I am subtracting. 7 minus 6 is 1. 50 minus 30 is 20. So the answer is 21. 21. That was easy because there was no regrouping. This next problem, 51 minus 27, there will be regrouping and it will be a little bit more challenging. Students have to slow down and really pay attention to what they're doing if they choose this strategy. We've got our tens and our ones. So I've got 50 and one. I've got 20 and seven. I make my line and my subtraction symbol. At this point in time, I look at this and I realize I cannot take seven from one. One minus seven, I can't do it. I must go to the tens column, this area here, and I must grab one of the tens from there. I make that 40, and now this is 11 because 10 and one is 11. So that's why this new number is 11. So 11 take away 7, I can do that. That's 4. 40 minus 20 is 20. So my new answer is 24. This strategy can be hard for a lot of students. They really have to slow down and pay attention. But these are the strategies we're working on in class, and students are encouraged to use the one that they like the best.